Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's reading, I want to look at uh, what's ending and what's beginning in your life. Because as collective energy is shifting really soon with a lot of things, major events happening in the world, I feel this reading is um, at the right time uh, to do this. And also before the reading, I just want to send out more love and peace into the world and uh, i want us to pray um for more peace and love for the world for what's happening right now um so we have three groups today first group is this black tourmaline uh, second group is this calcite this uh rose color calcite the third group is this selenite. While I was shuffling uh, for the energies of each crystal, I already feel some information coming through. Um, but um, first, let's, as usual, play the symbol three times to cleanse. And then, and then when you open your eyes, go to the one that uh, you saw immediately, you see immediately, okay. So your first mind your first choice is your best choice. Don't overthink it. You can find the correspondent timestamp below. I will see you in your group. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your reading. First, let's clear our energies. Um, I feel for group one, uh, okay, so I feel for group one, um, there's some keywords. One is truth. It's like you're going to find find out some truth about yourself, about your life, or about people around you. I just feel there's some truth coming out to help you make decisions or make a certain decisions that is very important in your life. So I feel if I want to say like what's ending, it's going to be a confusion. Confusion is going to end and clarity is going to begin. And also I feel you're going to gather more and more information, have more and more clarity to help you make some decisions. Because I feel for this group, you're going to make some major decisions for your life. Um, okay, so... Uh, before I before I forget, uh, this is a general reading. I just remind you, all the videos are for entertainment purposes only. Please don't let it dictate your life. You know what's best for you. Always follow your own intuition. Also, I don't do personal readings. Be careful of the scammers. And also, I encourage you to have your own conversations with the universe. Let this reading just be the confirmation or uh, inspiration, encouragement of your own conversations. Okay, so um, as I was saying that I feel your energy is quite dense um, because there's something that needs to be, the something that needs to simmer. Uh, it's like you need to give it time to let it rest, to have this clarity. There's a lot of things are going to end. Um major major uh i want to say transformation but i feel uh my audience everyone's going through transformation it's like law of attraction but for you i feel the transformation is per very very it's it's this keyword is transformation um so let's see what is this card yeah summer summer solstice radiance i feel in this summer uh, whenever you are watching this video, because this is a timeless reading, I feel in this summer, something major is about to happen to you or for you. Because 
Before that, you are going to make a major decision. We are going to have a look at what is the decision, uh, if that's possible, if I'm allowed to. But I just feel uh, your energy is like you, you are preparing for something major, some major change to happen to you in your life. It's like you have prepared for this for a long time. And your energy was kind of dormant. But somehow I feel there's a boost of energy coming out of your... It's like an exploration. Uh, exploration of your energy is coming from your um, sacral chakra. Coming from your sacral chakra. Because it has something to do with the sun. It's like a huge boost of confidence. Huge, huge realization. Huge uh, revelation of your self-worth, of your own value, of who you are, your identity. It's like you are re-identifying yourself and you're about to reach there. Um, and something is going to happen in, in the summertime. You could be Leo as well if you choose this group because I feel there is something to do with fifth house or you could have some placements in fifth house. Um, so let's see, what is your... What is your current energy for group one? What is your current energies? Let me just move some things. Oops. What is the current energies for group one? Okay. Yeah, we have the Empress. Yeah, you're manifesting something. The Magician and Five of Pentacles. For some of you, I feel you could change jobs. You could change a job. You could change a career because definitely something is changing in your life. At the bottom, we have death. Exactly. This is what I'm talking about. Major transformation. Your ending, it's like your whole life is going through a transformation. Everything. Uh, especially how you make money. Especially this is about money, finance, career. Um, because career is 10th house. 10th house is also what we contribute to the society, what to, what we contribute to the world. So sometimes 10th house is who we are, uh, uh, when public see us who we are. So I really feel this is ident, I, your identity is shifting. Your current energy is like, I don't feel this five of pentacles is lack. I feel it's just a change. It's just a transition. It's just a change. And your current energy is really, really powerful. But I, I really feel this is it's like you're brooding something. It's like you're pregnant of a new idea. You're pregnant of a new project. And you are giving birth. It's like you're pregnant of this manifestation. And then in, there's, in the summer, summertime, whenever you're watching this video... I feel you will see, you will give birth to this manifestation. This ma manifestation will come into reality. So your current energy is actually you are doing everything right. You're on the right path. You're on the right track. Things are changing. Things are fading away. You will lose something. Because I really feel for this group, um, it's like... Uh, you are shedding all skins and you will lose something. It could be, for some of you, it could be connections. Uh, it could be uh, friends even. And it could be, for some of you, and I feel probably uh, for some of you, it's possible that um, you will experience uh, a period that you don't have as much money you always had. Not in poverty, not in lack. It's just you're not, it's like, I feel you're always abundant with this Empress energy. It's like right now you kind of limit uh, your expenses and you are not gaining a lot of money compared with, um, compared with you as usual because this is different for everyone this is rather subjective so i feel it's like you know it's just a transition period even though you're not you're definitely not in financial difficulty it's just that for some of you you could not um make as much much money as you have 
have made because I feel you are focusing your energy and you are focusing your time on this new manifestation. Uh, for for some of you, I really feel it's like if you want to make more money, you definitely can, but it will take you energy. It will take your time. So you would rather save that to your new manifestation and you could get through this five of pentacles stage without a problem because everything is enough. It's like, yeah, everything is already enough. Even though it's it's just you know that you are uh, going through this process, so you don't need that much. It's just a, a transition period. Yeah. Eight of Swords, Death. It's like you're ending a lot of things. The Empress, the Magician. Oh, you are very, very creative. Group one, you're very creative and you're highly independent. I feel this is uh, maybe you don't have people help you. This is a solo project. Maybe you didn't share this information, your manifestation, what you want to do with a lot of people. Maybe this is just, you know, maybe you are the only one who know what you're, what you're manifesting. And you're very, very confident and you are very self-sufficient. A group one, you're definitely self-made. I don't know if you came from my last reading, also tourmaline group. I really feel you can create everything you want. You're so independent. You don't have to rely on anyone. But somehow I feel you could feel a little bit lonely right now with the five of pentacles and the magician. Um... Because I feel you can do everything by yourself. You know it's going to be all right. But somehow there is a sense of loneliness here. Because, uh, you know, it, it's like when you're a king, you're always lonely. Because you're the, you're the best. You stand on the highest ground. Nobody is with you. Nobody is, if you're, um, you're, if you're just a, a citizen, then you belong to a crowd. This is just metaphorically speaking. I'm not, you know, putting hierarchy or anything. I'm just, I just want to picture you, picture you a picture. It's like if you're a king, if you're, uh, if you are someone that is the best, then it, it, loneliness or solitude comes with this. It's like you are very, you have the excellence uh, compared with a lot of people. Somehow you feel a little bit isolated because of your excellence. Outstanding. Yeah, outstanding is, you know, the word outstanding explains it all. Because you're outstanding, so you're different than anyone that's around you. The loneliness is, um, the loneliness is like a side effect that comes with it. But I feel... Um, let's see what's ending. I, oops. Yeah, you, you, you hear that? The symbol just, uh, oops. Wow. I feel your energy is, uh, okay. So let me grab the card that fell out. Oops. I feel your energy is like really powerful. There's a lot of things that will shock you even because yeah i feel your energy is like it's definitely something is major something major is happening for you group one uh so let's see what is ending for group one what is ending for group one Okay, what is ending for group one? Thank you, universe. Tell us, what is the ending? What is ending for group one? Yeah, ten of wands, a ma magician, the henchman, stagnation. Uh, we have the magician twice. So definitely this group, you're so powerful. Uh, but this is what's, what is ending. I'm going to explain to you. Okay. We have, yeah, we have seven of wands at the bottom. Um, 
Let me get a feeling. I feel your loneliness is ending. I feel your solitude is ending. I feel I need to move this here. Yeah. I feel your loneliness is ending. Your solitude is ending. It's like you have a huge weight, energetic weight, energetic baggage that will be that will be lift off from you. I don't know if you for some of you, I feel for some of you, you could suffer from anxiety and this will end. If this anxiety comes from you don't know what to do or things just feel so stagnant, you can't move like this, the hand man. It's like you can't move. You know what you... It's like I feel, okay, I feel for group one, you give me the feeling like you know what to do. You know what to do but somehow you don't you didn't have the energy to do it i don't know i feel it could it could come from anxiety it could come from depression it's like you have carried a lot of energetic weight energetic baggages on you it's winning on you it was winning on you but this is going to end and also i feel if you feel isolated if you feel lonely like i was saying because i still feel a little bit loneliness here i feel this is going to end you are you are the with this i could tell i could definitely tell you're going to con reconnect with the world but somehow i feel let's focus on the ending here because i feel for you this happiness is going to end it's like, you know what you do, you know what you want to do, and you know how to do it, but you just cannot find the energy to do this. And for some of you, I feel you could just lie on your bed or lie on your couch, observing, seeing, witnessing the, the, the world is changing every day, but somehow your life feels stuck. Your life feels the same. You cannot do anything about it because you didn't have the energy to do it. And I feel this is going to end. You will have the energy to do what you want to do. It's like, yeah. So I feel a major, it's like something was waning on you. And this will be lift off. For some of you, I really feel Saturn could transit this period, what which is ending. Um like the happiness comes from Saturn could be in your first house or seventh house or even second house. I feel that because Saturn, the planet is changing, so it's going to be removed from from the heavy placement. You'll feel much lighter. Your energy will feel much lighter. It's like a, a period of stagnation will will end. The stagnation will end. The thing that's winning on you will be removed for you. You're you're about to be free. You're about to be free to go wherever you want to go. Do whatever you want to do. And I feel you are going to have the energy to do it. Definitely you, you will feel more energetic. Because this is ending. Feel, it, it, it has a feeling of feeling powerless. You have, it's not like you, you don't have a clue. I definitely feel you have a clue. You had a clue. It's this powerlessness, feeling powerlessness, feeling helplessness. This is going to end. Let's see. I'm excited for you, group, group one, because definitely something major is going to happen to, to you in your life. Let's see. What is it? What's beginning? What's coming? What's beginning for group one? What's beginning for group one? Okay. Yeah, the star. Wow. Nice. Yeah, the devil. Um, it has something to do with your work, your job, the way you make money. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah, justice definitely has something to do with contract. Definitely has something to do with your work. So the major decision for you, I mentioned at the beginning, um, I said, let's see, what is the major decision you're going to make? I feel it's your source of income. You're going to change that because we have two pentacles. For some of you, you could have two strings of income. 
two resources of income, two strains of resources of income. Uh, and for some of you, for some of you, literally, you have two jobs. Um, and also, I feel for some of you, you could have like a job and some investments because definitely you're gonna have more money. What's beginning? Major, major financial success. You're gonna be so, so rich. <laughs> yeah, and sacral chakra has something to do with abundance as well. With this radiant summer solstice, I really feel for group one, you're going to welcome abundance. You're going to be showered with abundance, with wealth, material wealth, because the devil talks about material world, material um, pleasure. Uh, this pleasure comes from the security you have, the, the connection you have with the material world. It's like the devil always tells me, like, it's like you're tasting really, really delicious food. The pleasure you have. Yeah. And also, um, for some of you, I feel sexuality as well, because the devil is the devil is in the middle of uh, of the spread here. It's like the pleasure from sexuality because sexuality is the pleasure that from um our body our flesh and also when you taste good food the pleasure from from your taste buds okay the pleasure of the food the sweetness all the flavors i really feel you're gonna enjoy the material world with your five senses in every way because also you need this Always in spiritual in, in spiritual community, people are kind of uh, could have a certain opinion on the devil, but actually, devil can be a really really powerful energy because you need this to reconnect with the three D world. For a lot of lot of times, people think, "Oh, three D world is ugly, is dirty, is sinful." But actually, we live in 3D world, and the devil is the one that connects with the 3D world. Here, I really feel, because I feel every card is neutral. Some cards really definitely have, you know, more positive indications, but I really feel here, you need this. You need to reconnect with the world. You need to reconnect with the 3D world, with food, with um, beautiful clothes, um with everything you can buy, with money, with material possessions, uh, with, you know, material joy, with this blissful, blissful things, and with sexuality as well. Because I feel for, for a lot of you, the solitude, the disconnection with the world has, like, dried you for some time. And this card, what is beginning, I really feel it's the sexual energy is going to come come into your life you're gonna feel so powerful it will make you feel alive it definitely will make you feel alive you need this because your energy is like kind of uh, alienated from the world you ret you retreated from the world like a nun or like a monk this is what you need and also i feel this is wealth oh i forgot to mention this because i was so happy about your energy definitely dream come true it's like yeah, for some of you, I feel maybe sex and money. I'm just going to say this bluntly because I don't feel it's it's sinful. It's actually good for you. Maybe sex and money is what you're manifesting. Or whatever you're manifesting, you're going to have this. Because the star is like a wish granted. Also, I feel your, your health is going to be much better. Especially if you had, um, like I was mentioning, some health, mental health conditions it's going to be much much better um you're not you're not going to feel alone anymore because the the two of pentacles i feel there's some energy exchanges from the outside with you um and the justice all, always talks about you know seventh house libra energy so you're and also the devil i feel some energy is going to come in um if you were always always alone this is going to end What's beginning is new energies coming into your life. Energies from other people that is going to, you know, dance with you. That is going to, um, yeah, just dance with you, flow with you.
cooperate with you. Some some for some of you, I really see co cooperation here because we have the devil and justice is like contract is cooperation and two of pentacles suggests that as well. So if you're seeking cooperation, if if you want to end this solitude, loneliness, solo battle, you're gonna have a comrade. Uh, fighting against you, you have a team player. You will, you will have a team. You will have a friend, uh, who fight again, uh, who fight with you. You will have a contract or you will have a cooperation. This is, if this is what you're looking for. But definitely, I feel abundance. Really, really, money. Really, money for group one. You could actually, you are, are about to witness some money coming in because the devil is not small money. Devil is huge sum of money devil is luxury yeah i feel yeah this is definitely definitely some energy that you need okay so for group one don't reject this uh material enjoyment because this is what you need to reconnect with the world because i also i feel what's beginning for you is the reconnection with the world you're gonna, it's like you, the the era of being a nun or being a monk is going to end and you are going to rejoining with the world. You're going to find your place there. And also, and there's a message very specific, maybe for one or two of you. I feel for for some of you, you could, what's beginning is I see for some of you, what you do is like your career in the future might have something to do with your appearances. It's like you're you're gonna be in front of a camera. You're going to let the world see your face, see your image, see your body. Something to do with that. So you could you could become famous or you could become public. It's just maybe through social media or maybe through other maybe your actors watching this. Um I just feel be, uh, also with this summer solstice radiance i feel your image is quite important it's like your success comes with you showing yourself in front of a camera you showing your image to the world because i feel you were hiding before but somehow your success i don't know if it resonates with you please let me know it's like for some of you, I feel your success comes with your image, come with your beauty, beauty, come with your face, come with your body, comes with how you show yourself in front of the world. Yeah, this is an information. I feel some of you need to know that. So uh, let me see. Is there any other information? Yeah, for I feel for all of you, new job, new job, new career. For for some of you, you're gonna change your career like really dramatically. You have definitely it's like something you never did before. But you always wanted the star. For some you def for some of you definitely I see fame because the devil also gives me, you know, like some power in the material world, some power in the in the public section. The star also. I really feel for a lot of you um fame self image people will idolize you because you're so beautiful you're sexy and also i feel for this group you're very very sexy you have this raw sexual appeals it's like you are very it's like you're powerful this sexiness isn't it's like a it's very because you're powerful and because you're powerful, you're confident, your sexuality, your sexuality comes from there. Yeah. Okay, so what else do you, uh, do group one need to know? Thank you, universe. What else do group one need to know? Get grounded. Yeah, empaths, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Yeah, I feel that for this time, it's really um important for you to reconnect with nature. And also, the whole reading is about connections with 3D world. So I really feel for a lot of you, you're going to practice what you have learned in the spiritual realm. What you have learned in the spiritual journey, you're going to practice that. 
in the material world in 3D world and you are you are going to witness huge success in 3D realm the importance is your the importance here i feel you need to um you need to cleanse your energy from time to time because we have impasse highly sensitive i feel and also tourmaline is um a energy protection I feel you are very, very sensitive beings, and also it's important for you to cleanse, like a have a ritual to clean, cleanse your energies, like regularly, um, and also go go to the nature, go to the nature as frequent as you can, because this is important for you. And for some of you, I feel if you go into the nature, you have some downloads there. Um, if you go into like a somewhere with trees you could have new insights and new downloads here this will help you to you know correct your path or give you some guidance on your path so that's pretty much for group one i'm really excited for you group one let me know what you think um like share subscribe check out my other videos and take care of yourself i'll see you next time bye hi group two welcome to your reading uh, first, let me cleanse our energies. Group 2, I really feel your energy is really happy. And if you are not, then what's beginning for you is major happiness, excitement. Uh I, I I just feel it's like okay, it's like when you're a little kid every summer uh you're going to the swimming pool and when you're you when you're closer and closer to the pool you get more and more excited. It's like you're you just want to run faster and faster towards the water. You, I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's like I feel group two, you know something that will give you such big happiness and excitement like adventure is going to come to you i feel you know this somehow you know the the good good things will come to you yeah so this is the excitement is the keyword it's like a lot of a lot of joy a lot of a lot of happiness yeah so um before i start the reading um i just want to say this is a general reading only take what resonates with you and also this is just for entertainment purposes only don't let this reading dictate your life you know what's best for you use your own uh, knowledge and intuition and also i don't do personal reading so be careful of scammers let this reading be the confirmation inspiration encouragement with your own journey with your own conversations with the universe okay so i'm going to let's have a look at with the card you have wolf instinct i was as i was shuffling actually i was shuffling uh with uh the card from this deck for you the first card came out was breach will breach because i already saw that so i put it so i put it back um but i just want to tell you this because this is exactly i feel i feel you know good you know blessings are coming. You know good things are coming. You know your wheel of fortune is turning. You know your good karma, karma is coming. You know because you just know. And it's like a huge freedom. Breaking out old karmas. Breaking out old cycles. Freedom. Liberation. It's like you finally had the... You finally had the... It's like breaking free. Yeah. It's like breaking free. And also you know this. You're waiting for this. I feel this wolf instinct is... You know, this wolf is very patient. It's like he knows. It knows um, its own time. You are waiting for a right time. You're just waiting quietly. You know something is con something's coming. You're very intuitive. You're very wise, group two. Uh, let's see more. What is your current energies? I, I want to use this deck. What is the current energies of group two?
But somehow I feel you're. Even though you know with your instinct, but somehow your logical mind is telling you it. Some it's like you are also a little bit specific, suspicious. Like, oh, am I going to have so much good, so many good things? Is it even possible? Um, it's like you trust yourself, but you're not. It's like you know. Yeah, you see, seven of swords and king of swords. It's like you know. By your instinct, at the bottom of your heart, you know. But it's hard for you to trust it. It's it's like you you argue yourself. Let's see your current energies for group two. Group two's current energies. Thank you, universe. Forgive us. Group two's current energies. Three of cups. King of cups. Five of pentacles. Interesting. Bottom, we have seven of pentacles. Um, your current energy is group two. I don't want to lie. You feel lonely. Same with this wolf. It's like you feel lonely. Even though we have three of cups, but I really don't feel this is... It's like you are really enjoying your your social life. I feel this energy is a little bit similar with group one, but I feel with the five of pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, the information coming out from your group, it's like what you are thinking right now, what you are putting your focus and your attention right now is about love. It's like you are re-examine, yeah. It's like you are re-examine your love relationships at a very fundamental level. You're you're even searching answers back to your childhood to see why you have certain attachment style when it comes to romantic relationships. But I feel it's like you're healing. Your current energy tells me that um, you are searching answers. You were searching answers. And probably you are. You still are. I really feel this King of Cups is like you're reminiscing on a lot of things. You're reminiscing about your past. And you want, you want some answers from your past to answer the question you ask about love in general. Or in relationships in general. And there's a very specific message coming out for some of you. I feel you uh, you could <clears throat> for some of you, I feel you could just end it or you're about to end a love triangle, a, a third party situation here. It's like you have to do this. You know this will break your heart a little bit. But you have to do, do this because this is the right thing. And you're, I feel you're, um, I don't want to say bury. It's like you're going to collect your emotions. And you're going to put it in your heart at the bottom of, of, of your heart and lock it in a box in your heart. And you're about to move on. So this information is only for some of you. I feel it's like you're making a rational decision about your love life. You're going to leave something behind. You know this is tough, but you know this is the right thing to do. Yeah. But for all of you, I feel your current energy is like a bit, a bit lonely. Because I feel the Three of Cups is here. And you are here. And dude, this is how you feel. So I feel for a lot of you, you know you're going through a transition. You know you're going to have new connections. You are you know you're going to have a new life. A new, new friend circle. So it's like... I feel the world is... The world has so much going on. 
there's people around you has so much going on, but somehow you're looking this way. You're not looking at at this way. It's like I know they are living their life. I used to be a part of that, but I don't want to be anymore. It's like you're retreating. You're withdrawing your energy more and more from from the old circle because you have a solo solo mission here. I feel with the wolf instinct. It's like you know your right path is leading towards you towards you to a different direction, different than them. It's it's gonna be lonely. You'll feel left out at some point, but I feel you're prepared for that. What's ending? What's ending for group two? Let let's have a better idea because I feel I feel you're very mysterious, group two. You have so many layers. People, I don't feel people recognize this. I feel people will look at you and they don't realize any anything different. Because you hide this. You're good at hiding your emotions. You're good at hiding your feelings. It's like something is going on at the surface, uh, below the surface. But you you only show the surface to the people you current, currently know. And you feel a little bit left out because there's nobody with you. And But somehow I feel you know this is going to end. Yeah, the tower, the moon. Somehow you know this is just a, the, the, a short term. It's, it's not permanent. You're going, you, you will go through that. Yeah. So I feel the keyword for you, the main energy I'm getting is you're seeking out new connections that are really so uh, fulfilling you, that will fulfill you on a soul level, that will resonate and vibe with you on a soul level. It's like you will, you you don't want to settle for less. If I don't have the right thing, I I'd rather don't have anything. It's like this mindset. I want true soul tribe. I want true soul family. I want true friends. If I don't have that, I'd rather be alone. But you know this is just, you know, a current stage. I just, I just saw 1111 11 on the screen. Yeah. The full the moon something major major is happening for you group 2. Yeah, it's like I I don't it's like the people around you I don't feel they 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 can understand you anymore. The people around you they don't vibe with you anymore. It's like I I'd rather be alone than having bad company. Yeah. So what's ending for group 2? Wow. There's a lot of cards. I see major blessings on your way. <laughs> the universe is like please hurry, please tell group 2. Um, but, okay, okay, five of swords, queen of pentacles, two of cups. For a lot of you, I feel it's actually a relationship. Yeah, for a lot of you. Like I was saying, third party situation, or this could not be a third party. This might be a friend, you have a crush, knight of wands. It's like you're moving on from this. For a lot of you, I feel this is definitely a relationship that you want to end. This is about to end because I feel this is not fulfilling you. You could probably thought this person was your soulmate or twin flame. But actually, you it's like you outgrown this person. You have you outgrew this person. You have outgrown this person. I feel this person could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in, in his chart or her chart. I feel it's connections. This is going to end. Overall, it's about people. It's different uh, from group one, but I also feel if you want to check group one, please do. Uh, there might be information for you, but I I feel the focus here, what the difference for you, group two, is um, connections. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, huge release, relief, huge release of energies. Um, I really feel it's the people 
people are going to fade away from your life. People who were close to you, people who were close friends, people who were close families, because your you value different things because because your value system is has outgrown them. You be, before you could have the same values, same goals, same perspectives of the world, but somehow I feel you have grown. You have outgrown these people. You now have different values. It's like people with different values, they just simply cannot, you know, have the same vision for life, for future. So it's very natural they just fade away from your life. I really feel it's the old connections are about to end in your life. People you know, people you know for a long, long time with the five of swords here. And also, I feel with the Five of Swords, it's like you have changed. They probably changed as well. They have grown as well. But the directions are different. So naturally, you just part ways. And somehow, I feel for some of you, you could feel this is you yourself. You could feel this is hard to accept. But some for, for some of you, I feel it's them. They could feel okay you do this intentionally you want to distance me or there's some jealousy here but i feel this is going to end majorly within your relationships your connections or even romantic relationships because i feel for some of you really this is talking about a love relationship you thought this is the one if you if this resonates with you you know what i'm talking about someone you thought was the one someone you thought was the twin flame was the soulmate was it you know that but somehow i feel you have grown it's just simply you have grown you have outgrown them so it's time for you to move on to move away from this connection or connections yeah and also i feel you choose yourself this time because you choose yourself you know your worth. You know your values right now. So it's like your your standards are much higher. And those people who don't meet your higher standards, your current standards, you just let them go. Set them free. You don't want to lower your standards anymore. You don't want to settle. You don't want to compromise. This is ending. Wow, this is deep, really deep. But but let's see what's coming because I really feel excitement. Probably new friends, probably new connections, probably your own, your true soul tribe, your true soul family, your true friends. Because I really feel it's like the universe wants these people to fade away from your life because the universe wants to, you know, f make space for your new friends. Making space is very important. This is making space. Five also talks about, five always talks about changes because five is not stable because five is making space for the news to come, for the new things to come. What is coming? What is beginning for group two? Thank you, universe. What is beginning for group two? Yeah. Oh my god, king of cups again. Six of pentacles. Stress. Page of cups. You know what? For some of you, I feel... Because it's the same, King of Cups and King of Cups. So, for some of you, I feel mm, this is really specific. For some of you, after ending the relationship with that person, this person will realize your self worth. You will realize your worth, your value. Will realize how powerful you are, and this person will come back. And have an equal give and take relationship with you. Because you don't settle for less. You made your point. Because Six of Pentacles talking about equal. You know. Equal give and take. So I really feel whatever the situation is. Because 
your friendships or your relationships before wasn't healthy, weren't healthy, weren't healthy, and what's beginning, what's new, is new relationships. Oh my God! Yeah, look at this. Page of Cups, Age of Swords, Page of Swords, the, the lovers, of the world. It's like, it's like because you you are brave enough to show these people what you want, what you truly deserve. You don't settle for less. So what's new, what's beginning, is that healthy relationships, healthy connections, healthy dynamics within your. Within your emotional life in general, because I feel before it wasn't. You could finally see yourself being powerful, being authentic, and people who come towards you, they are not offended by this. They encourage you to be your authentic truth, true self. They encourage you to be the real you. They accept that. They love that. They admire that they support you, and they want to give you something, not just taking, taking. Because I feel from before, people probably take from you with the Five of Swords and Queen of Pentacles because you have value. You didn't realize how valuable you are, so you didn't have probably you didn't have clear boundaries, and you let people take from you. Sometimes it's not money; it's not. It's, it could probably be time, energy, emotions, feelings, anything. But I feel it's like you're gonna have really healthy boundaries. This is what's coming. This is what's beginning. You having healthy, clear boundaries. You realizing how valuable, how worthy you are. You respecting yourself. You attracting new connections that is equal in every way. And you attracting new love. I really feel this is a new love because King of Cups is looking at 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 the strength here. You could be Leo, the the person, and for some of you, I feel it could be a new person because even though we have you know same king, but for some of you, I feel it's a person that is that shares probably similar qualities with that old person you ended with, because I feel. You know, it's it's your it's it's you. You just attract a type of person. So for some of you, it's an old person. So for some of you, it's a new person that could be a little little similar with that similar to with uh, that previous person. But anyhow, this is a healthy new connections. Even with the old person, this is a new connection. This is a new dynamic. This is a new relationship. Even with that old person, I I hope you understand what I'm saying. It's like the old dynamics. Are gone because you strength, you 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 because you have this strength because you stand your ground. <clears throat> so I I feel it's really what's new is what's beginning is new connections. Even romantic relationship is indicated here with the King of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Can we have what is? I just want to pull one more card for you, Group Two. What is this? Is it love? Yeah, six of wands. I don't feel it's necessarily love. I feel it's how people view you in general. You have respect from other people. Yeah, Queen of Swords is like you say what is true to you. You say the truth. You cut throat. You being very authentic. You being sassy. And you being. Powerful, you just stand on your power. People respect you. I feel it's just people respect you so much. People look up to you. People idolize you. People admire you. People support you. People, I feel you would attract people that actually want the best for you at the bottom of their heart. There's no shady agendas. There's no secret intentions. People genuinely want to see you succeed. You attract this. Yeah, and among these people, there's there's might be a romantic interest here. This is what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Um. 
Group two, I feel there's a lot of things are going to come into your life, but somehow the universe just wants me to reveal this much today. I really feel this is more than that. What's beginning is more than this. I feel you know, you will know. It's, you will see your life is changing. You will see how people view you is changing. And I feel it's 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 like you yourself is a new you. So every aspect of your life, every area of your life is going to change accordingly. It's going to adjust to the new version of you. So love, career, friends, everything is going to shift because you shifted, because you changed. I hope you understand. And this is just the beginning. Okay, there's more. There's much more. Um, what what do group two need to know? Okay, too much. What do group two need to know? Yeah, worry woman, have you answered answered your deepest calling? You see, this is like a queen of swords. You see, the image is the same. Um, just be you, okay? Be the authentic you. Don't speak your truth. Don't dim your light to fit in. Be yourself. Um. Don't be afraid to tell people off, calling people off. If you feel they step your boundaries. Also, this is, I feel this is talking about boundaries. This is about stepping your own power. This is about to say no to people, to reject people if you feel need to. Okay. Don't be mellow. This is not a time for you to be mellow and be pushed over. Say no, reject people. Speak your truth if you feel it's the right thing to do. Do what's what feels right. Don't consider too much how others gonna view view me, if they're gonna judge me, how I'm going to am I going to hurt them? Am I going to you know I feel you're very kind, you're very gentle. This is why you, you didn't have you didn't attract the most healthy and authentic relationships before. So this is a lesson, that lesson for you to learn this time. Please be yourself. Please don't be afraid to offend people. But I'm not saying, I'm not encouraging you to encourage anyone to specifically and intentionally hurt, harm, or offend anything, anyone. I'm just saying to protect yourself if you feel necessary. Don't be afraid to say no. Don't be afraid to tell uh, if some people hurt you, let them know. Let them how. Let them know how you feel. If you have some cl complaints, say them. If you're not happy with something, say say it. Yes. So I really feel if also if this person comes back, you need to have clear new ground boundaries. Because I really feel if this person. If you end this relationship, you need to let this person know what's wrong. What's wrong with the relationship? What's wrong with this person? If this person walks away, fine. It means the universe don't think this person is good for you. If this person comes back, fine. Because you you lay, you lay stated, you, you had the statement of your clear, healthy boundaries. So I feel this is pretty much for group two. Um, comment, share, like, subscribe. Uh, definitely check out my other videos. Um, yeah, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Hello, group three. Uh, welcome to your reading. First, let's clear our energies. For your group, I'm hearing health. I don't know if... I, I think the message coming through, I think the information is going to be something related with health. If you... Um, if you suffer from any, you know, disease, I feel there's an energy to heal. De definitely there's a healing energy coming through. Mm, it's like cleansing, healing rebalancing your energies boosting your health something improving your health recovery something of this sort i feel this is what i'm getting here and before we start the reading 
I just want to say this is a general reading. Only take what resonates with you. Uh, always follow your own intuition. Don't let this reading dictate your life. Let this be the confirmation, inspiration, and encouragement for um, your own conversations with the universe. And also, I don't do personal reading, so be careful of scammers. And this is uh, entertainment purposes only content. So yeah, you know what to do. So let's take a look at the card of your current energy, Fire Passion. I really have, I really feel this is, um, this has something to do with your health. It's like, I feel there's a boost of energy coming in for you. It's like this fire, because in ancient time, um, fire is used to, um, I don't know if the word is exorcism. It's like fire is for protection and fire is for cleansing and fire is to cleanse and remove all the negative energies. Like um, uh, fire also can chase, you know, if you hold a fire to chase like monsters, animals, big animals, and also uh, fire can scare off um, those uh, monstrous creatures. And also fire could also, if... If you know there, if there's a pandemic, if you burn everything, the virus will be killed. So I really feel this is, this is how your energy, how your health is going to be restored. Um, yeah, with this fire passion. I really feel this is a cleansing and it, it, it's a cleansing in a very rapid way. Not like a... Cleansing with water or cleansing with, you know, this is very quick. It's like a fire is going to come in and burn all the virus um, in your life, metaphorically speaking. So the change is going to come really fast, really soon, and you will witness dramatic changes. And also, I feel there's a huge uh, boost of your health you will feel more energetic if you i feel some of you you already feel very energetic right now but for most of you i feel you will feel in the near future energetic very energetic there's a boost of energy coming from the universe it's like a blessing yeah i feel there's a lot to heal for group three there's a there's a lot to heal so let's see more about your current energies for group three, what is the current energy for group three? Thank you, universe, for letting us. Okay. Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and Five of Five of Wands. The information is very specific. If you just recently had a surgery, um the, the, you're healing your body is healing okay so yeah the world i just heal i just feel your body is healing it's like you need this healing uh something is something is going on um that it doesn't necessarily to be like a physical thing it could be mentally it could be yeah it could be a mental mental thing but i just feel it's like <clears throat> Right now, you're going through a something. It's like a system is readjusting its own components. It's the it's it feels like your system, um, whether it's a body or a mental and mentality, is you are an individual system, and it's like something is working on its own. Something is rebalancing on its own. Something is gaining balance on its own. It's like it's working by itself and it's improving. But somehow it creates creates a, a period of um a period of conflicts, but it's temporary. It's very interesting. We have five of pentacles for group one and group two, and five of swords for group two, and five of wands for um for group three. It's like everyone and it, it's absolutely it resonates with this reading because we're talking about what's ending and what's beginning it's like 
I feel every it, it, it's like something is changing in your life for your highest good. You might not be the one who initiate that, or you are the one who initiate that. But it's like you are going through, um, you're going through a period that might feel a little bit unsettling at the moment, but actually it's going to work out by itself. So I really feel you need to give anything, anything. You know, you will know what I'm speaking. You will give it time. I feel patience is is required here because it will just work out. It will just function by itself on its own. It's like a automatic system. And for some of you, like I was mentioning, um, either you had a surgery, either you had a fallout, either you had a something that happened that hurt you, um, the pain will still be there, linger there for a little more because you know, this is a healing process. The pain will eventually go away. And when it stitches or when, when it hurts, it means it's healing, especially when it stitches. Uh, uh, not it, when it stitches, when it in inches. Yeah, when you want to scratch that, when it inches, it means your body is healing. I feel this is the energy you're in right now. It's like the the wound is sealed already the the wound has been treated but somehow it's healing itself so you might feel a little bit weird odd uh, uh, around the wound or on the wound but give it time it will just it will just heal by itself for this group i really feel something has happened that led to a wound this could be literally a physical wound or this could be an emotional wound or something um and also, I feel for some of you, you could have some conflicts within working environments, um, like disputes with your colleagues or with your boss, because I really feel it, there's a disagreement of communications, like a battle of words here in your environment. Literally some competition or uh, competition or disputes, disagreements. Maybe it's verbal. I don't feel it's physical. It's mainly verbal. Yeah. Something might say, said something that really hurtful. Hurtful. It might be you. It might be the other party. But I feel there is a common ground. There is a way out. And also I feel there's a, there is going to be a third party. Uh, that will help to mediate um, this situation. So for group three, there's actually a lot of messages. I really feel it's like, uh, for your current energy, I feel patience is, is required. So let's see what's ending to get a better idea. What's ending for group three? Thank you, universe, for telling us what's ending. <clears throat> What's ending for group three? Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands. Bottom, we have Five of Cups. Yeah, we have all fives today. Um, what's ending? For some of you, I really feel it's a job. It's like, if you're not happy at a job, I feel I can see for some of you, you're about to leave that job because they don't pay you enough because they don't see your value. They don't want to give you what you deserve and it's draining you. It's, make, it's making you really tired. Um, it's like it's very busy and you put a lot of effort. You contribute a lot. But you didn't have the equal like equal reward. I feel if you resonate with this situation, I feel for some of you, you're going to leave that job. You're going to leave that situation. Or it could apply to any situation as such. It's like you're putting efforts. You invested a lot of things in this. 
you invested a lot of money, emotions, feelings, care, but somehow it drains you. It didn't bring back what you want. It didn't reward you with what you deserve. I feel this is going to end because I feel for some of you, this is either the situation itself will die away. Either this situation itself, it will close up. It will be, it will end by itself. You don't have to do anything because I just feel for, for this, the situation will change. This situation will change. Either you, either the situation will change by itself because eight, nine, I feel there's a cycle that is about to end. <clears throat> I need to drink some water. So I feel there's a, my throat inches a little bit, maybe some communication. It's like maybe there, lack, uh, there was a lack of communication. Then the communication will come in to balance the situation out or to put it a closure, put on a closure of the situation. I really feel this momentum is, you know, growing. There's something is about to change the situation. Either, like I was saying, you're going to leave the situation no matter what. It's like, okay, you do, you do whatever you do whether it's a group of people group of people or, or some situation it's like i'm going to leave please continue but i'm not, i'm not going to be a part of it anymore i'm going to leave i'm going to take what's mine and i'm going to leave it's like you 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 think this is a sinking ship and what's past is you can't say that because it's sinking but you don't want to sink more with it so you make the choice to depart, to, you know, to retreat, to go, to say goodbye to that. So I really feel for group three, different situations here. I see different stories, but anyhow, I feel there's an end of conflict, conflict, an end of a war, an end of exhaustion, an end of, you know, keep investing, but not, not gaining. This is going to end. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the moon. Justice. Yeah, judgment. I feel it's like something is wrong. Something is unfair to you. Something is wrong. Something is... There's issues. It's like a, there's an issue. Either people will fix that. Either it will fix itself. Either you will, you're going to leave without it. You're going to move on. You're going to, you know, go away. It will, it will give you some, yeah, five of pentacles. For, for a lot of you, I feel it's a job. Um, it will give you some, like, you know, sad feelings or even regrets. But you know, this is the right thing to do. Anyway, I feel it's good for you. Because the exhaustion, because it's like an... It's like a it's it's leading nowhere. If this situation keeps stays like this, there's no way out. It's leading to nowhere. So it's good. It's good that it will end, it will die by itself, or it will change by itself, or you choose to live. It's like you will be freed from the exhaustion, from the conflict. Yeah. Um Let's see what's coming. Yeah, a close close of a chapter here. Closing out a cycle. Also, I feel it's like because of the noises, I just feel there's a lot of noises around you, group three. Whether it's from this situation, whether it's from your job, it's working environment, anything. I feel there's a lot of voices. Noises. Actually, is affecting your own judgment. It's like when, when it's too loud, when the noises are too loud, you cannot concentrate and you cannot actually focus on focus on yourself. And it, it, it actually prevents you to see your true value. <clears throat> 
I don't know why, but I just feel this message. I need to, I need to say this for for some of you. I really feel it's like the outers, the conflicts from um external world actually, um, <clears throat> actually somehow prevented you from um uh, really examine carefully of your own value of your own self worth. It's like a distraction. You were distracted. You cannot you cannot concentrate on what you should concentrate on. And it also makes you lose sight of your own value, of your own worth. It's like because because I really feel the energy like the energy surrounding this Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands and Nine of Wands, it's it's not you. It's like you're a, you're an alien on the planet. It's not you. People from you, people around you are so different. It's like you don't vibrate with, with the environment you are in currently. This is going to end. This is so different. It's like you're surrounded with the wrong crowd. Or you are placed at the wrong place. Wrong environment. This is not for you. Either the environment change, either you change. Yeah, <clears throat> this is going to end. Let's see what's beginning. What's beginning for group three? Thank you, universe, for telling us what's beginning for group three. Yeah, two of... I like this. I really like this. Okay. Two of wands, ace of swords, and queen of cups. At the bottom, we have the hierophant. I feel for some of you, you're going to start new a new job. You're going to join a new organization. Yeah, you're going to join a new organization or institution. Or you are going to join a new group of friends or new crowd, new community that actually see your worth, see your value and makes you happy and fulfill your needs emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, psychologically. I really feel it's like because these people, they don't see your value or this is just a wrong place for you to be. Not necessarily it's their fault or it's your for your fault. Nobody's fault. It's just a, a bad match. What's beginning is you actually... Uh, like, uh, you actually see things clear now. You actually see things clear. And for some of you, like I was saying, the health condition, health, if you suffer from a disease, uh, it's like it has something to do with your living environment as well. If you uh, resonate with this, if you have a health condition, if you had a disease, I, I feel that it's like um, because you need to heal and probably the environment you're living in isn't the the best place for you for some of you i feel it, you're gonna move to another place maybe it's you know um near near the water near some ocean near a river uh just near some water here more quiet much more quiet because i feel your outside environment where you're living in where where you're in in life in general is too noisy it's not good for you because you need peace I really feel you need peace. It's like you you don't resonate with the environment, and the environment is not good, not giving you the best energies. You don't. It's like a raw match. You don't match. So in order for you to heal, you actually need to relocate or you need to move, um, to a new place. For for some of you, I really feel it's moving, moving to a new place, moving to where you actually can you know, have a very nurturing environment, either from nature or this place you just like. Uh, it's very serene, it's very quiet, it's very calm, peaceful. There might be, uh, there might be some water, there might be a mountain. It's just you can relax and you can heal. And I feel your mind will be clear. For group three, I really feel for all of you, it's like your mind wasn't clear before because of the environment. I really feel there's nothing wrong with you. It's the environment. It's like the environment is too noisy. You cannot actually hear your own thoughts. You cannot actually hear your own voice. But what's beginning is you will be 
either I, just I was saying this situation will solve itself it will balance out by itself a new beginning is in, there will be a new beginning a new cycle things will change so you can actually concentrate and plan to do some work either is you leaving that situation behind you plan your own future you had your own beginning new beginning and then you can actually see everything clearly i really feel for all of you it's like you will have such a clear mind you will hear yourself loud and clear what to do what's best for you and you can actually make the decision for some of you if you don't know what to do your confusion is going to end what's coming next what's beginning is clarity of knowing where to go knowing what to do knowing what's next and any decision you're going to make for yourself will bring you this huge emotional fulfillment it will fulfill you in every way you will feel so happy you don't have to you don't have to you know uh you would you would just be yourself and you would just be so happy it's like finally finally i i find the right place for myself i was you i was at the wrong place all the time and finally i could move i could find and i could land to the right place you will feel so at ease and this will help you heal because i really feel there's something you need to heal something that probably left um from those conflicts those chaotic situations that you need to heal and you will heal that at this new place yeah um what else i just i really feel it's for for you it's like you know what's best for you now you know what's best for you and you're gonna search for that and you're gonna find that and you're gonna go there Yeah, for a lot of you, I feel it's new people, new crowd, new organization, new boss, new job, um, or new school even, or new major, something that you want, you feel you belong to, something you really feel you belong to. It's like, because your energy there was, it was, it was like you didn't belong there somehow. You put yourself in this situation, but you didn't belong there. And the new beginning is finally you go somewhere. You feel this connection to. Yeah. I really feel it's for you. It's saying a lot of goodbyes with the Ace of Swords. It's like saying a lot of goodbyes because there's a lot of things will not follow you into your future, into your new beginning. You leave a lot of things behind with the two of ones as well it's like i know um i know what i want it's like a sacrifice or it's like a trade-off i can't bring everything with me so i have to leave something behind to in order in order for me to start this new beginning um let me please group three let me know if it resonates with you because i really see different situations and different you know um stories here let's see okay and also you will find passion in your life you will actually if it's a job i feel you will actually do what you truly love not because of money because before i feel if you had a job that makes you feel really unhappy, that was because you only did it for money. You didn't did it because you loved it. But the what's new, what's coming is finally you can do what you love for a living and make money. You will be happy about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what else do you need to... Yeah, soul family. I feel really you will find these people. It's like finally you find you will be somewhere you're meant to be. 
You feel connected with the people around you. They are your soul family. You will not feel alienated by the environment. Calling your soul tribe. Don't you don't have to do it all alone. Yeah, the great gathering. I really feel it's you reuniting with your soul family. Especially for for a lot of you, I feel it's after a move, uh, or if after a change of location, a change of job. You will feel you belong. You will belong to there. You will have a sense of belonging to this new place. And you will have the passion again. You will feel so alive after this. You will feel, oh my god, I'm living. I'm finally really living again. Not doing things because I had to. Because I need the money or I, I had the responsibility. It's what you truly want. You will do what you truly want. You will have this so, so... You know, a lot of love uh, coming into real life. You feel so content. Okay, so that's pretty much for group three. I really hope you enjoy this uh, this reading. Um, definitely check out my other videos. Comment, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.